So I got the idea for this video from a guy on Mastodon called Axel, and it's quite simply, do you get benefits from sticking on the same distro for a long time? And I think this is kind of an actually interesting topic because it's hard, it's hard to give a definitive answer because there's a good chance that you will, but there's also, there's no guarantee that you actually will. If you use the same distro for a considerable amount of time, for one, you're going to most likely get very familiar with how package management is done on that distro. You're going to get very familiar with the programs that are available to you, um, mainly just because if you use it for long enough, most people will eventually have one board day where they're just browsing through what the package manager has available just to see if there's any cool open source games that you hadn't heard of nifty programs that could help you that you just hadn't heard of. Like, I mean, you'll have that day one day, but when it comes to switching your Linux distro, especially if you do it the right way, it's really not that much of a hassle. I mean, when it comes to your home partition, all of your user data, if you have it set up where that's on its own little drive or whatever, switching distros is, well, I mean, no hassle when it comes to that side. Everything's fine. It's still there. In many cases, even your configurations for different programs will come with you. So you're all fine. So I think really the biggest thing is when it comes to switching distros, having to relearn the package manager or how to go about package management, because there are certain systems that are going to rely heavily on flat pack or whatever. So you might have to learn a completely new way of installing programs, going about that kind of stuff. So when you stick with one distro, you can get very, very fine tuned on that one particular distro and its package format. And also, th I mean, there are obviously other things other than package management, but I think that's kind of the most important one. I mean, there's obviously like, you know, you're a NIT system. You might get very, very involved in it with system D and then have to switch to something completely different. And there's many other things like that. So, but I, I, I think overall, when it comes to sticking with one one distro, the main benefit is, is unless the distro maintainers have a wild change of heart or make a drastic move to a new technology, you're probably not going to experience that much change. And I mean, obviously you're going to experience change just like every update brings change. But I mean, fundamental changes where you have to relearn how to do literally a whole category of things or, you know, a certain skill set. It It's normally just going to be changes that, you know, the cosmetic changes, the improvements in speed, that kind of stuff. You do have to experience less of a learning curve sticking with one distro. But I think that's pretty much it because expanding your horizons with switching different distros, learning different package managers, different init systems, and all of that, that can be a fantastic skill set in of itself. Doing all of that, I mean, that, that could be building skills for the basis of a career. So it's one of those things where there's benefits to sticking with them, but there's definitely benefits to going elsewhere. And a lot of the times it can be less challenging than you think it could be. So I, I know this is supposed to be about the benefits of sticking with a Linux distro, but I want, I want to make it clear that there's benefits to both. And I think the benefits of just sticking with one distro is normally just going to be having an easy life with your computer. You're the odds of you running into issues, especially if you've picked something for its stability, 
then you're going to have most likely the smooth, or I wouldn't say the most likely, you're probably going to have the smoothest time out of anybody who's moving to Linux. If you pick something stable and you stick with it, you're probably going to have a good time. And that's, I mean, that is kind of one thing about Linux that does put people off is coming to Linux, trying out something, figuring out that they have one small minor issue in this one section being like, well, I'll try something else. Then they have two issues there and then something else. And then they have one issue, but it's a different issue than the first one. And you know, it can, that can aggravate people. And so, I mean, I would just say if you don't stick with one distro and you enjoy it, then keep hopping try different stuff. You might be building valuable skills. So, you know, don't feel bad because you can't stick with one thing. Also, if you do just stick with one thing, you're probably having an easy time with your system and that's convenient and awesome and good. So there's really no problem with either or just depends on what you want. So I think that's about it for this video. I'll go ahead and switch over to my Patreon thing. I'm still, I'm still going to spruce this up. I haven't done it. I'm recording a couple videos or actually probably more in one day. So tomorrow I plan on fixing it. So who knows? It might be a few to four videos that come out before this is all spruced up for you fantastic patrons. So sorry about that, but thank all of you guys for watching everybody watching. Thank you. It, it does genuinely help out. If you want to go even further, hit that like button, throw me a comment, tell me what you thought. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you also want to join all these fantastic patrons over on Patreon, that links down in the description. So thank you, Jonathan, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. You guys are freaking awesome, and the support is much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.